Muchas We have some amazing guests here. Um, some people have been doing the work of Jesus all over. If you haven't seen them, then you're under somebody's rock. So get out of that rock and um, pay attention as we have the rights coming up. We have the strong rights. singing out anywhere. I don't think we, anyone was interested in having us come sing at their events or anything yet. Um, and from then on, God just started really cultivating our hearts. And uh, each stage of what we were doing, uh, it was very um, strategic by God. Um, he allowed us to grow as we grew spiritually is when um, he started to put us in front of more and more people, more and more people. We started out just singing in the in the house and, and, and just for fun. Uh, where we are now, God has opened um, some doors, and, and we've been blessed enough to, um, I guess, have a little bit of a home um, in, the, in the area. Um, all glory to God. Yeah. For sure, man. A little bit of a name, man. You guys, I don't know if you guys have seen in South Florida, like, no exaggeration. Like, your, your shirts will be in the mall. Like, people will walk around the mall. And Jesus, hey, Jesus, I'm your number one fan. So, I mean, that's, 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 it's happening. I've seen them. So, that's, that's great. That's great. So, in the, in the taking, in the vein of taking the lead, um, talk about for a second, because I know you, you come, your whole family, you come from a family of music. Yes. So from pops down to brothers and both are all brothers involved yes. in some in some kind of music. To, um, great great uh, music too. That's my <laughs> that's my little brother. Uh, sincere. Yeah, yeah. Sincere. That's crazy. So talk about now you being amongst them and then you taking that step. You leaving you leading your own sense of worship, your own ministry in that case. Oh man. What was that like? What was that experience? What was the what were some challenges or what were you what would you say are some of the biggest challenges that you felt faced getting ready to step out? So I think finding confidence in what God called me to do, you know, understanding that it's not like my brothers and not like my, my, my father. Um, so I went from, oh, that's uh that's Bishop Wright's son, to oh, that's James Wright's little brother, to oh that's Sean's little that's Sean's big brother. I'm like, oh man, I it, it can take a, a, a hit at your, um, at your confidence. Um, but through that journey that we, what I was speaking about earlier, through that journey of um, just maturing and, and, and the things of God, um, God just started to reveal what I was called to do. Um, and it's so far away from musical ability. It's so far away from uh, just being talented. Um, God wants me to inspire. Mm -hmm. He wants me to inspire a culture of, of, of worship. Yeah. And not just, I'm not just talking about music. Music mm -hmm. is music is a form of worship. Mm -hmm. but music, music, exactly. Um, but worship at, as it pertains to a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, and music just happens to be one of those ways God has allowed me to inspire people. Um, but when you, I believe when you get to a point where you understand who you are in Christ and what, what that means, now that stuff don't bother me. You know, I, I, I want my brothers to be successful. I want my father to be successful. And there's it's some great things about it, too, because I grew up uh, as a kid. All we did was play instruments. Yeah. When other kids were getting bikes and toys for Christmas, we were getting drums and keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> and, One big um, shed all the time. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good time. 
Not to tell my age, but there was no guitar hero. That's how old you are? The little Facebook that I'm no guitar hero old. All right. We're not going to talk about that. Yeah, man. I'll be 34 this year. Good, good, good. Praise good. God. Courtney, what is it like being in ministry with your spouse? How much is it? What is that like for you? It is a blessing, and it is also a challenge. <laughs> because I think what's important is that there has to be a friendship there and you have to um, be able to you know be that support um, more than anything it can't ever be about who's going to be um, in the forefront who's going to because by default just the way the order that God created he's leading us in ministry you know what I mean and so I um I acknowledge the God that's in him and I'm, I'm trusting the God that's in him as he's leading both of us in leading our household I mean even setting an example for our son so the more that I um stay focused on wanting to please God and wanting to just grow in God the easier it becomes to just to be supportive and to push and to inspire and to motivate and to just let him know that, look, you have everything that God, um, everything God called you to do, you're equipped already. He's already given you everything you need to carry out, you know, the assignment and the task that he's given you. And it's just, it's a blessing to see all of that unfold. It's a blessing to see it come into fruition because as friends, like we, we know, um, we know our weaknesses, we know our, our shortcomings, and so it's it's a beautiful thing to watch God just use all of that, anything that the enemy meant for evil. He, it's a beautiful thing to watch him use all of that, you know, to bring him into his calling. And he went from being just purely musician to seriously operating as a, as a minstrel, as a minister, and even now a pastor. So it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. The journey is a blessing. Right. <laughs> That's amazing, man. So, from a musician's standpoint, because we, I, I play a little bit, and I'm not nowhere near. Come on, stop. A little bit. Chill out. Relax. Um, right. Chill out. Um, and from a musician's standpoint, what was it? What is it now? So you said that um, as far as your goal and your mission now is to encourage worship, God, God-centered, Christ-centered worship going forward. How do you? How do you see, how did you step out, and how do you see that going forward past a musician's um, role? So past when the guitar is down, how, what does the future look like for encouraging worship outside of the strings and outside of the key and outside of the chord? So God gave, gave me a vision a few, a few years back that me and my wife would pastor. Um, we didn't know when that would be. We didn't know how it would be. I honestly didn't think that I was even capable um, of pastoring anybody. Um, and God had just begun to, God is so good, man, because he literally, he just sets it up from start to finish. He's so, he's so strategic. Like he, you'll be in a place and, you'll, and he'll give you just a glimpse of, of what's to come. And a lot of people make the mistake of jumping into uh, just out of excitement, yeah, yeah. man, this is what God showed me. I'm, I'm going to do it now. Mm -hmm. um, but God will literally line everything up mm -hmm. to just prepare you for something that's going to happen maybe a few years from now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so just even coming into where we are now, um, it's so far away from just music. Uh, even just the people that God has allowed us to um, serve and, and, and pour into, uh, a lot of them are, are musicians that come to meet with us not to sing <laughs> not to not to have you know of course we worship but that's not what drew them in it was an opportunity to come together and discuss the word and and really build a relationship with God so as it pertains to us as a as a ministry and what, and what God has called us to do um, music is obviously going to be a part of it but it's, it's, it's inspiring people to, to dive into the word. I know we hear that a lot of times. It becomes yep. cliche, yep. read your word, and this and that. Yeah, but the word is God's vocabulary. Yep. That's how he speaks. Yep. You want to hear from God, get in his word. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the highest forms of, of worship. 
that is one of the high. You can't worship God if you don't know how to speak to him. Mm. Wow. Yes. That was so, um, you all do house worship. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is? Yes, yeah, so house worship, um, and this goes back to what I was saying, how God literally just lined everything up. Um, so earlier this year, we start, last year actually, we started house worship every last Saturday of the month. And basically it's just an opportunity to come together and just pour out and just really just love on God. It's not about us. It's not about, you know, what we're dealing with. It's not about us coming to, to be free from something. It's about us coming together just to worship God. And freedom happens in the presence of God. Healing happens in the presence of God. So those things happen just, you know, just from entering into his presence. But it's literally just a group of people. We just come together and worship God. And sometimes we just go into scripture. Sometimes we get away from, worship. from the music. Yeah. Sometimes we get away from the music and we go into scripture. Um, but yeah, we meet every every last um, last Saturday of the month. Um, and we've got, yeah, if you guys want to come through. Um, give us we can definitely give, give me that how can how can the people reach you on social media? So um, the name of our ministry is Red Nation, um, and if you if you go on IG, uh, it's at uh, by Red Nation. And that, that's where they'll find the information about where the house worship where takes place and all that. Right. Wonderful. Absolutely. So Courtney and Rashad will be closing out our show today with some house worship. So prepare your hearts and your minds. Woo!
So we thank them again. Can we thank them one last time? Alright, we'd like to thank everyone on social media uh, that has been watching. Uh, we pray that you have gotten something uh, from this segment, uh, from all of the segments on relationship. Uh, we thank everyone uh, that came out and shared uh, their life and with the worship. Uh, that, that we just experienced that, that goes to tell you that you only need God in the room and you don't need much, you don't need a whole production, you don't need everything else and sometimes it's just you and God. So we thank everyone else. Yeah, be sure to share if you're watching via social media and you were share, blessed by share, this share, video, share, share it, tag somebody in it, um, send it to people, private message, DMs, whoever, let them know what's going on here at the prime of my life that you were, you were blessed and that you were now inspired to take that lead. So take the lead and we thank you. And have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Woo!